Welcome back to uh, another quick video guys just to go through some bits and bobs that I've done on the bike some mods updates um, got the on the bike on the paddock stand out the front gives me a chance to uh, check it out and yeah I'll give you some updates on uh, what we've done on the bike what I've got planned just I've had some questions that's all so here we go so number one Evo Tech crash bungs badass big boys stick out a mile Definitely what you need. Number two, oil cooler, engine guard, radiator guard, all Evo Tech performance. Definitely needed on this bike. Number three, heel guards. Definitely needed. Get rid of the foot pegs, not taking any passengers. Number four, one of the many engine covers. I think this is a water pump one. Duca bike. Went for the silver to try and match the magnesium silver of the engine. Blends in. Nice. Number five. Duca bike, engine cover. Again, silver to go with the magnesium of the engine. Number six, front fork spindle protection, EvoTech. Again, many out there, simple to go with EvoTech, job done. Number seven, rear spindle fork protection, or leg protection, whatever you want to call it. RNG this time, only because I can get my paddock stand on. So, dual purpose this, can't complain. Number eight, Indicator guards, Duca bike, guard protection. Always wraps nice round, covers the indicator, job done. Number nine, quick release fuel cap in black, made by TWM with the Italy flag. Can't complain, sets it off nicely. Number 10, I've got my SP Connect iPhone cover, wireless smart charger, and mobile cover. Can't complain, does what it does on the tin, perfect. Number 11 is my Ducati heated grip. This is an OEM option that I fitted to the bike. Must need it in the UK, it is cold in the mornings. Number 12 is my tail tidy DIY OEM plug and play type thing that I've done, made myself. I really like the look of this. Looks nice and clean. Number 13 is total PPF protection on the whole bike by Tony James Designs. As you can tell, it is one class kit. Number 14, is all important lowered seat for the small midgets so I can put my feet on the floor. Yeah. Number 15 here is my constant center stand bracket that goes through the back end of the engine that supports the bike so I can park it up nice and tidy in the garage. Number 16 in here is my lithium battery with my lithium tender charger. Saves a fair bit of weight that uh, definitely one of the best mods to do already. Right, so that's everything on the bike, parked back up. Now let's just talk about what's coming up. So, throttle spacers. Just to have these on my 1299. Um, they do make a difference. Uh, even on the heated grip, so yeah, that's gonna go on. And I've got a steering damper. But not just any old steering damper, I've got the black one, which took an absolute age, two months to get all of this in stock. But obviously the Duca bike gets to fit it all up. I have then got a Sprint air filter coming. I'm not going to bother with the Giuseppe kit, the Star Race kit. It's quite a lot of money. And does this bike need it? Maybe, yes, no, I'm not really too fussed. When it comes to the exhaust, um, I quite like the stock. It sounds okay. I may actually just get rid of the dirty cap because it saves almost 2 kg, you just get a decal pipe and then do the eliminator and the servo saves, I'd rather do weight saving and it still sounds a little, and it still sounds alright so instead of spending 7 800 pounds on two end cans a um, couple hundred quid on a decal and that might sort that out and then finally, probably something around this end I just want to tidy up the front a bit or make it a bit more bespoke and niche towards my spec and my designs and my colours and what I like in a bike so stay tuned for that I'll keep that a secret and I'll do probably a separate video on that but yeah that's the bike in all its progress and I'll drop all the links in the in the description of where I've got everything from um, so yeah thank you very much catch you later